filing a motion to get the full deposition unsealed, uh, the very same deposition that revealed Cosby admitted to acquiring quaaludes with the intention to use with women uh, to have sex with them. That means alleged victims would be identified and all redacted portions would be disclosed. <laughs> Since the Quaalude bombshell from that now unsealed um, deposition, two networks have pulled reruns of the Comedy Legends TV shows. Disney World has now removed a bust of Bill Cosby from its park in Orlando. And my next guest is likely to agree with all these choices. She says she was drugged and raped by Bill Cosby in 1992. Lily Bernard is the former Cosby Show actress. She played the character of Mrs. Minifield on the show's final season. She came forward in May. And Lily joins me now with her attorney, Gloria Allred. Uh, Allred represents 13 other Cosby accusers. We spoke with Beth Ferrier uh, yesterday. And so I just want to welcome both of you to the show. Thank you. Uh, just thank so you. we are, thank you. Um, just so we are crystal clear, uh, Lily, I know that, that you say you were raped in New Jersey, and New Jersey has no statute of limitations on sexual assault. But, uh, and at least this is according to Cosby's attorney as of last week, who said your case was dismissed. Um, have either of you heard from the Atlantic City prosecutor? Is that your understanding of the case or, or not whatsoever? Yes, and by the way, uh, when you indicated earlier, when you indicated earlier that she filed a lawsuit that was dismissed, that's not accurate. She did not ever file a lawsuit, and no lawsuit, therefore, was dismissed. As to the Atlantic City prosecutor, uh, she did spend more than five hours talking to detectives there. Uh, New Jersey has no statute of limitations, but uh, it's not retroactive. The, the law was changed in 1996, I believe, and it goes back five years. Uh, she missed it by a few months, but uh, it, the, the reason that the prosecutor is not pursuing it has nothing to do with whether Lily was telling the truth in the five hours. She gave very, very compelling information to the detectives. It has to do with the statute of limitations. And the statute of limitations, those are the three favorite words, I think, of Bill Cosby. Uh, you know, he may, maybe he prays to those words every day, statute of limitations. Maybe he's going to imprint them on his forehead. Uh, but I, all I can tell you is Lily was very brave. We're glad she made a report. We suggest any other woman who alleges she was sexually assaulted by Mr. Cosby go to their local law enforcement or wherever the assault occurred and report okay. it so that it's in the record. Lily, I just want to hear your voice. Can you tell me what happened in 1992? Yeah. Uh, first, I want to respectfully correct you that um, you stated I, that listen, I Listen, both of you ladies, said, forget, I apologize. I got some wrong information, and I am on the record apologizing to both of you um, okay. for, but for I just wanna, I just wanna, that. It's okay. I just want to clarify that I never stated that he raped me in 1992. I stated that he yeah. drugged and raped me in the early 1990s, but in 1992, he threatened me with words that I perceived to be a death threat. So just to clarify that. It wasn't um, 1992. It was the early 90s. I understand. Can you tell me what happened okay. either time? Well, first of all, I, I just want to preface it by saying that Bill Cosby has admitted to administering drugs with the intent of having sex with young women. And sex is an expression of mutual consent. Therefore, rape is not sex. Rape is a very violent and highly intrusive criminal act that can cause lifelong and life-threatening damage and trauma in a woman's life, as it has in my life, having been a victim of Bill Cosby's drugging and raping. And we live in a society that functions under principles of equality, respect, and philanthropy, and in the trademark manner, uh, in the highest form of a coward, Bill Cosby has hidden under this facade, under this um, public persona that espouses the societal images, the societal morals, excuse me, while he then turned around and committed acts of sexual slave enslavement upon me, you know, by surreptitiously uh, slipping drugs into my blood that incapacitated me, prevented me from being able to fend for myself, to fight off my attacker, which in this case was Bill Cosby. And uh, that is how I perceive it to be, sexual enslavement. Uh, let me play you some sound um, from Whoopi Goldberg on The View today. Mm -hmm.
People have been coming after me saying they're going to snatch my family. They're going to come. Up. It's like being Frankenstein. People coming after you with the fire and they're going to burn you. No one here thinks rapists are fun. Nobody here thinks rape or hates women or any of that. So don't come after me like that because I'm sick of this bull. Here's the bottom line for me. It's my opinion. And the American courts agree with me because still. He has not been taken to jail or tried or on anything. So back off me. So, Lily, final question to you, um, 60 seconds. What would you say, how would you respond to the, to the defenders of Bill Cosby, to, to, to Whoopi Goldberg? Well, I, I have uh, utmost respect for Whoopi Goldberg. She's a great comedian. But what I endured with Bill Cosby was no bull by any means. You know, he... Um, met with me under the pretense of uh, meeting with producers who would further my career, and he surreptitiously, clandestinely slipped drugs into my um, blood, and he raped me. It was a very traumatic, I wasn't even, I'm a very strong person, you know, I, I'm in, I gave birth to six children without any pain relief, and yet with this strength, because he incapacitated me, I was not even able to push away the pillow from my face that he was using to silence my screams while he was suffocating me while he was raping me and then when he finally lifted the pillow and I could finally gasp for air I could not even wipe away the tears trickling down my temples that were welling in my ears and so this is no bull this is real this is what I experienced and it was highly invasive um, you know I fell on a, a table and cut myself having been drugged by him and cut myself and bruised the table that I fell upon bruised and cut me it was very violent mm -hmm. and um, if and when I'm called to testify under oath, I will present all the details along with evidence and contact information of third-party witnesses. I really, but it was no I, bull. I, it was highly traumatic and has impacted my life very negatively. I admire your strength. Um, Lily Bernard, thank you so much. And Gloria Allred, thank you mm -hmm. as well. And thank please you very do not much. Miss, thank, you, thank you very much. Do not miss tonight's special mm -hmm. report. No laughing matter inside the Cosby allegations. 9 o'clock Eastern right here on CNN. I'm Brooke Baldwin. That does it.